The Church Worldwide, the global recovery vessel reaching millions of vulnerable souls all over the entire world with the voice of Christianity, bringing the message of salvation, healing, teaching and deliverance to the brokenhearted, pointing all believers and non-believers to the resurrected Christ in his full immortal body, which is the Church of the Living God, the celestial city of the heavenly in Jerusalem. You are all welcome on board with us. Please join us now as Dr. Edmund brings a message of faith. of recovery and, uh, and I don't know where you're watching me from today uh, the basis of my being in the recovery studio today I mean recovery TV studio is because of you you may never know the Lord has sent me to you and I may never know the Lord has sent me to you as well I say and uh, the will of God is that um, we should hear his word. You're most welcome. Well, speaking to you is Edmund and Yahamiwe. And uh, well, the word I want to speak to is a word of encouragement. That's deliverance from the wicked world. I'm sure that most of you know this world is a wicked place, but I will not do this without praying with you, first of all. So let us pray. Most precious God Almighty, I thank you for these beloved viewers who are watching me live today. I pray that you give them the grace to listen to me as you speak through me for their blessings, for the healings and deliverances. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, Beloved viewers, those of you viewing from Scandinavia area, from Finland, from Sweden, from the United Kingdom, from Italy, from United States of America, Australia, Austria, uh, well, New Zealand, Brazil, Chile, Ecuador, and more so from many third world countries. Uh, May God bless those of you being from Pakistan, from Bangladesh, and from all over the world, from South Africa, from even Celsius, from Indian Ocean, those of you in the island of the Indian Ocean. May the Almighty God bless each and every one of you. Now, I'm here today, as I said, for your sake, because God sent me to you, and God has sent you to listen to me. Deliverance from the wicked world. Turn with me, if you don't mind, to the Bible book of Psalm, number 11. I want to begin this reading from verse number 2. For lo, the wicked bend their bow, they make ready their arrow upon the strange, that they may privately uh, shoot at the upright in heart. Now, you see, if you are taking close, uh, in, you know, listening, if you are in the spiritual audience of my reading, you will understand. You have your Bible too. Why don't you turn with me this same place? In the book of uh, Psalm 11, you see, the wicked have bent their bows. Today, many are dying unnecessarily. In fact, we have come to the end of times, the Bible talks about the last days. The last days are the days of the end, eschatological days. The days when the fear of God is departing from people. I mean, the days when, you know, people, you know, are delighted 
you know, to offend one another, to fight, to make wars, and to blaspheme themselves and God Almighty, and to make nonsense of innocent and reasonable people. Of course, yes. The years of violence, these are those days. You see, they bend their bow. This bow here could mean anything like bomb, like cannon fire, like bullets, you know, cocking guns, and any destructive instrument, weapon, to destroy the, uh, the, 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 the any life, the, the life of a human being. They bend their bow. You see, there are many ways the devil has bent his bow to you today. These are what? Temptations. Temptation has brought so many people to a position they never dreamt in their lives to be. Well, to be honest with you, so many people have turned away, you know, from the appropriate life of their destiny, according to God's specification. God has ordained a special life for everyone, but you end up getting the opposite, and you end up living defeatedly, as if God loves some people and uh, he hates some. No. It's all the works of the devil. The devil, Jesus calls him the wicked one. So anyone playing wickedness in this world is under the control of the devil. This is the truth. So the will of God is to save those people under the jeopardy of wickedness. To save you from that disease, biting your private part, which you got through disease. Maybe through gonorrhea. Uh, it was called uh, venereal disease. It was called STD. But in the process, it's changing to something else. Bringing infertility to your system. You see? So all these are bows. The bows of pleasure. You know, pleasure. So many people today are now suffering because of the pleasure. The pleasures they played. Yes. You see, sometimes the devil sends the bow of fibroid. His wickedness. I mean, something that will hinder a woman from, you know, having children, you know, uh, of, of, in her generation. It's wicked spirit. You see. So that's wickedness. So every bad thing that happens on this earth is wickedness. Well, I'll get back to you in a few seconds. You are my strength. Again, I want to say, you're most welcome to this program by God's special grace. Uh, that uh, I'm going to read the next verse, verse 3 of Psalm 11. It says, If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundations be destroyed, what will the righteous do? Excuse me. When the enemy had bent his bow, he is meant to destroy foundations. Because there are many that depend on parents. There are many that depend on some uncles, cousins. You depend on some fosters. And at the end of the day, you discover that you are not, I mean, you, you, you lose the deposits. Why? Because of mortality or fatality. When something happens to a person you depend upon, a foundation is destroyed. More so, the wicked spirit is there to make you fell from the foundation God has laid. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter number 3, in verse 11, For other foundation can no man lay than that which has been laid, and that is Jesus Christ. Because in the book of Isaiah the prophet, Chapter number 28, verse 16. It is written that God has laid the foundation in Zion, a precious, tried, tested 
chief cornerstone. And whosoever is built upon it should not make haste. So I am telling you that the purpose why God sent Jesus Christ is to deliver you from wicked spirits, wicked people, wicked occurrences. Accident is a wickedness. I want to promise you that in your journey, that journey you want to take, you are going to be delivered from accident. You are going to be delivered. Just believe it. You are about to travel very soon. You are about to travel. So as you travel that journey, the Lord is going to deliver you. Uh, in case of there's any sort of uh, misgiving. No, 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 don't bother about that. Now, you can also uh, uh, call in when, if you know a contact, like tune to recovery TV, I mean, uh, recoverychurch.tv. Now, you will be able to get, um, you'll be able to get some information there. Then we'll be able to send you a vest. And this vest is titled, the Lord is my shield. I mean, you need that vest to believe always. As often as you glance on that very vest, just begin to understand, just begin to believe that the Lord is your shield. I remember some time ago, a lady that had a protruded stomach used the word of God on a sticker and then Rob her stomach, believing that God would take her out of that infirmity. This lady was all along, uh, uh, you know, attending hospitals and uh, seeking for uh, healings and uh, uh, deliverances. But before you know it, it was serious. that they wrote the eye of the lord is upon me the eye of the lord is upon me for good this sticker on one day i picked the courage i put it inside my chest and then uh, that monday on tuesday in short my i used to have this big tummy but then that tuesday i felt that something went out of me and it, since then look at me I can't wear this type of... The eye of the Lord is upon me for good, the sticker. And you place that sticker on your chest. And you used to have a swollen stomach. Scoff, so many things. I used to... Then after placing that sticker on your stomach, your sto you said before your stomach came down, you couldn't wear something. Okay. Okay. Your stomach, you couldn't wear something like this. Maybe something fitted like this before. Even that I wear it. It will come up like a pregnancy. Okay, it will protrude like a pregnancy. But after placing that sticker on your chest, everything came down. So went down. I felt something, somebody drew something out of me. You felt somebody <laughs> remove something out of you. It disappeared immediately, she said in her testimony. But it's like someone took something away from her and the stomach that was protruded went down instantly and herself and the husband testified so i want to thank god for your life for bringing you to this station i mean your station your television uh, 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 channel your television uh, uh, screen or on our internet television because we are always on streaming 12 hours for now not yet 24 hours 12 hours but if you go into the archive then you may get more but 12 hours from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yes, according to Nigerian time, because I'm speaking from the studio in Nigeria, in Lagos. You see, so I want to say to you that the will of God is to set you free from evil foundations because there is a foundation that no other man can lay, that God personally laid for you. And why the enemy bends his bone is to get you out of that foundation. What does this foundation carry? 
this foundation carries good health. The foundation godless carries deliverances. The foundation godless carries healing. The foundation godless carries victory. It carries success. It carries wealth. It carries breakthrough. That is it. But when this is destroyed, what can the righteous do? The righteous will start crying. The right, righteous will start, you know, uh, you know, dwindling in faith. He begin to doubt. Why am I righteous? If this be, if that be. So the devil is the wicked one. Don't allow the enemy to put you down. And I'm going to read the next verse. And that is verse number four. The Lord is in his holy temple. Come on, somebody. The Lord is in his holy temple. Jesus, love of God. Welcome to the moment of recovery. Now, in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16, it says, Know you not that you are the temple of God, and the Spirit of God dwells in you. And if anyone will destroy God's temple, him shall God destroy. For God's temple is holy, and that temple you are. Think about it. That temple you are. They say, if anyone would destroy God's temple, don't destroy it because God wants to dwell in you to exterminate everything that is haunting for your life, to take your life away before your time. The Lord is in his holy temple. All you can do now is to open up your heart and receive the Lord into your spirit. The Lord is in his holy temple. Receive him. And again he says, that the throne of the Lord is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyelids try the children of men. Everything happening to you, nothing is ruled out from the sight of God. Because Hebrews 3, I mean chapter 4, verse 13 says that all things are naked in the eyes of God. To the eyes of God with whom we have to do. Now think about it. It is very important that you should understand that the Lord is in his holy temple and the Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes is beholding you. His eyelids guiding you. All the children of men, whatever is happening on earth. Some time ago, you, were, you, fell, you fell into trouble, perhaps. And uh, the trouble you fell into is great temptation. You were duped. You lost business, and discouragement came your way. And you thought of even going to kill yourself. Haven't many people killed themselves? Those that kill themselves, what have they gained so far? Those that kill themselves have you know, wasted the time the Lord had programmed to glorify himself in, in their lives. This is true, because... I mean, there was a man who poured fuel all over his body and burnt himself alive. Why? Because he married the first wife, there was no baby. He married the second one, there was no baby. And he went about flirting to see whether he could find a baby somewhere through any lazy or a careless woman who could have let him in to her body. He could not. Then, incidentally, he got a, a lady who was... Uh, in her uh, level one, two, three, let's say in her uh, 300 level and deceive her out of the school. 
and he could not get a baby through the lady. So he went to the back of the house. Nobody knew he bought a, a gallon of fuel and he poured it all over his body and lit himself alive. He shouted and cried and died. But I tell you, he wasted his miracle because God is not limited. God can change your condition. God can change your infertility. God can change... Wipe away your sorrows and tears. The enemy has bent his bow to destroy you. I don't know the way the enemy has bent his bow against you. Will you let him shoot it? Listen. The Lord is your shield and your buckler. I told you that you need a vest. Just write and get it. Phone in and get it. This vest carries this very caption. You must not die before your time. God can change your life like he did in Abraham, who was without a son of his own biological body for 25 years in marriage. Sarah, you know, God conceived at the age of 90 years. And I tell you, what happened? There was joy. Sarah made a statement. Who would have told Abraham that Sarah would have a child for him? Who? So I am saying to you, nothing is too late because God is never late. God is too much. Nothing is too late because God is too much. He can change situation. The enemy has bent his bow. Deliverance from the enemy. Enemy has bent his bow. All right, not only that. Thank God, you know, the Lord is beholding the children of men, according to verse 4. We are dealing with Psalm number 11. In case you are just coming in now, viewer, you are most welcome. Speaking to you is Edmund. Yeah, I am called apostle, but I don't know what I'm an apostle. Only God knows what I am. But I know that I'm a servant of God. When I pray for you, you cannot be the same. God shall hear me over your life. There is nothing God will not do for you when I pray for you. Because you need the hand of God. Hey, Katabaha. Now listen. In verse number five. In verse number five. Well, I'm about rounding up. Time is not very much on my side now. But let me read this verse five for you. The Lord tired the righteous, but the wicked and him... That love and violence, his soul hates. God hates those troubling you. God hates your adversaries. Now I want to pray with you. Uh, God bless you. Come on. Are you ready for this prayer? Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. Walk in my spirit and cleanse me from all my sins. Known and unknown, bless my soul. I vow to serve you forever in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, let me pray for you. What's your problem? Please write your prayer request and send it to P.O. Box 17312, uh, London, SW162GE. Or here in the global headquarters in Nigeria of the Church Worldwide International. My God. 
Don't forget I'm talking to you from the Kingdom Recovery Church Center. The Kingdom Recovery Church Center is of the Church Worldwide International. So I'm going to pray. What's the problem? You can even lay hands on your uh, television screen or your uh, internet screen, whatever you're viewing this moment. Now let's pray. Precious God Almighty before whom I stand. I command the power of the enemy, the poison, the witchcraft, the marine spirits, the familiar spirits that is haunting this life. I judge you by the Holy Ghost and I stop you. Come out and live that life in Jesus' name. That very disease in your liver and kidney, the spirit that is working against your metabolism, I judge them in Jesus' name. Receive your healing. Receive your miracle because you asked for it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and God bless you. Now tune into this channel the same hour, uh, the, the same time, I'm trying to say, the same time the every week, and God bless you. And don't fail to visit uh, the recoverychurch.tv for daily streaming, daily information for you, and God bless you. Now visit my personal website, Edmond Powerhouse. Dot org and you get to I mean enjoy yourself what God has for you. God bless you and your family. Bye for now. this episode of your moment of recovery and we believe that you have been blessed by the word from the anointed servant of god apostle edmund have any questions comments prayer requests and testimony you want to share with us you can do that by sending them to the phone numbers and emails displayed on your screen for we are ready to hear from you we hope to see you in another exciting moment of recovery god bless you